Yeah, that would be fucking scary. Like, beyond scary. I think I've... I, I liked Cube enough that I rode the momentum of liking Cube and watched Cube 2. And maybe Cube 0? I think I watched it, like, once. But they're definitely not as good as Cube is. But I, like, I liked it enough that I was like, alright, I'll watch your sequels that are probably bad. <laughs> But, like, Cube's really good because, like, you're, like, putting together the puzzle yourself of, like, who the fuck these people are and, like, what the fuck's going on. It's, it's a good one. It's a good ride. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the factoids. I think, like, the whole movie was, like, super, super cheap. Have you guys seen, um, Primer? I wouldn't say it's really scary, but it's definitely, like, suspenseful and a very budget movie. I liked it. I like Primer a lot. It's a horror movie. It has to have a low budget. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of what happens, Ted Cuddy. It's it's one where you, if you watch it over and over again, you kind of get, I had to like the first time I ever watched Primer. I think I watched it like like three times because it's like seventy minutes long too. It's really short. You were high. <laughs> that might help. The Purge was really good was the, uh, I never really watched it because I saw they made like a billion of them and I'm like, I, I don't, I don't really want to watch eight Purge movies. Is it worth watching just the one Purge and being done with it? I remember Phone Booth. I did watch Phone Booth like in high school, I think. It wasn't bad. I never really watched it again, but it was pretty suspenseful. Was it really only 70 minutes long phone booth? With, isn't that like Colin Farrell? Isn't that who that is? Whoever predicted The Purge was going to be like the multi-film franchise that it is now. Not me. I did like 12 Monkeys is really good. Yeah, that is a good one. If you count that as horror, like I like that movie. It is a good movie. Yeah, most of the scary movies for me are not like traditional horror movies. Most traditional horror doesn't really scare me very much. Booth won't even make sense to anybody now. <laughs> I think even in the phone booth movie, he had um, he had a cell phone and it was like dead or something, if I recall. Like he always got to write in the dead cell phone now. So instead of like, oh, in a world where cell phones don't exist, it's just like nobody ever charges their cell phone in horror movies now. Oh, I thought I got him. Yeah. I'll take it. I didn't know you could get sub weapon drops from the boss. Maybe that was from like a snake or something.
there's the, uh, there you are. I knew there was holy water somewhere quickly. <laughs> oh, you dick. Get off the stairs, what are you doing? Get off the stairs, Simon. I might die, we gotta be careful. I haven't seen any of the um, Jordan Peele stuff, but I like most of his stuff looks like it's probably pretty good. I just haven't really gotten a chance yet. Most of his new horror stuff looks pretty good. to do about these birds when they do this. <laughs> I did two Sight Bender and I didn't really... I, I love the original Twilight Zone so I felt like that probably like didn't help. Um, but I didn't really care for it. There were a few th a few episodes were like, oh, that was pretty cool. It was good. But most of them were just not very good. They were kind of mad to me. But I really liked the original Twilight Zone, too. So, like, I don't know. I guess expectations were high that day. I didn't ever see the, like, the re- the, I don't know, there's like four remakes of Twilight Zone. I never really- I didn't see the 2000s remake of Twilight Zone. Castlevania scares me more than most movies do. Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden scares the shit out of me, too. a heart. Being named Rod? Probably. Simpsons fans. I bet there's a Rod and a Todd out there somewhere. Please stop whipping when I don't want to whip. I just want to up. I had a dog named Todd. <laughs> hey, we're up by 0.3 seconds. Alright, world record potential here. I 
Neo Neo skeleton wants to behave here anyway. Mm -hmm -hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Man, getting boned. Getting boned. Ooh, that bone almost boned me. A lot of bones here. A lot of potential bones. Ooh. Should be okay health wise now, I hope. I wanted to beat his axe throw, and it so did not work out that way. God, just die. Just die. need to like learn in this game to not be greedy ever. Like I'm not good enough at this to be greedy. My greed in this so rarely works out. It is like it's like a 1 in 10 chance it works out for me. Mhm. <laughs> I never did see that documentary on James Cameron's submarine. I know he's like, like non, unironically, like one of the best divers in the world, apparently. Like he knows more about deep sea diving than like almost any other person alive. That's pretty cool. Like, that's pretty crazy to me. Or maybe he's just got he's got the best PR team for that, I guess. That could be a thing too. Really with the double Medusa hit. And I like throw a second too late, I think. No. Well, we may be behind here. But we can still perhaps PB on the Dracula levels. I will be holding left after the death stage. I am mentally prepared to be holding left after the death stage. Old man James, thanks for the good luck, man. Oh, I split late, but we're still very behind. But we had definitely have ten seconds to save on this uh, on this split for sh for sure. script and scary, but it worked out okay. Okay, this went much better than the PB. That went much better. <laughs> I've been killed by that bone before. That ain't gonna happen. Okay. Take one from you. Don't do two. Okay. Never go for the food here. It is never worth. Because, like, I mean, for real, if you get hit there in that last stage, you're falling off the fucking map. Like, there's no way you get hit and not fall. So, like, your hits don't really matter. Not all that important. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Ow. That 
that's fine. That's less fine, but that's okay. Go, 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 go. We did it! We got the double! Now let's just not die. clean fuck yeah dude the sub 16 fuck yeah I didn't think it was that good that was a good fucking drag split man fuck yeah Woo! that was a good fucking time hell yeah two PB's in a row at that and we were we were red like the whole time that time Sun, we thank you for the 200 Shindy bits, man. GG, Shindy for GG sub 16. <laughs> Thanks for the GG, man. All right. Rain, thank you for the five gift subs, damn. Old Man James, visual. Ted Cuddy, I'll take the woo as a GG. Uh, Porcy, Faustian, Sun Woo. Tetra, hey team. Thanks for the GGs, everybody. Hell yeah. Pretty good to my sum of best, too, really. Like, not that bad. Not that far off. World record in this. Ted Cuddy is like 1040 or some shit. It's, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Sub 17? I just sub 16, Porcy. What do you want? <laughs> All right. Sepulcher time. Thanks for the gift sub, man. Hell yeah. Thanks for kicking the hype train off. Raceland, what's up, man? 